here at Packersham Equestrian Centre in Leatherhead to find out what to do if your horse or pony is wounded or injures himself. When you consider that even a very small wound can be potentially life-threatening, knowing just what to do is a very important part of horse ownership. Horses have a reputation for being accident prone. As animals with a finely honed fight or flight mechanism, perhaps this isn't surprising. They're also prone to injury because of their design, long legs with no muscle below the hock. Well, I'm joined now by someone who has a lot of experience in dealing with wounds, and that's Ben Mays, president of the British Equine Veterinary Association. Ben, first of all, what can owners be looking at to actually reduce the risk of their horses and ponies getting injured? Well, the, the environment around the horse is, is, is where they're going to injure themselves. Firstly, out in the paddock, the, the grazing, well-maintained fencing, hedgerows, bushes, gates, you know, common places where those injuries occur. And similarly, in the, in the stable environment, around the yard, where you tie the horse up, how you tie the horse up, um, and in the stable, nails, um, bits of metal, well-maintained clips or on the stable door. It's normally their legs which a horse will injure, and because there's little flesh covering the bones, a minor wound can be life-threatening. Here we've got a, a, a horse's leg, down here around the fetlock joint or up here around the knee joint, even a tiny puncture going into that joint could be fatal because that joint is a privileged site, it doesn't have a blood supply, it doesn't have its own immune system and without flushing out that bacteria on an operating table the horse would become very very lame and have to be put down. If your horse has wounded itself it may be difficult to assess how serious the wound is and given the healing of a wound is influenced by the way it's managed straight after an accident occurs your immediate action is important. Owners should also be aware that they have a duty of care under the Animal Welfare Act 2006. This includes protecting horses from illness and injury and providing treatment from the vet when needed. So Ben, if your horse does injure himself, what's the first thing that you should do? Um, get the horse to an area of safety. I think that that's, that's essential. Away maybe from where the injury occurred and, uh, and a make sure people around the horse are safe as well so so this horse has been brought in and tied up away from the problem and where it can be managed it's also important to make sure your horse or pony doesn't contract tetanus infection generally occurs through wound contamination it can be fatal but is also preventable by a proper immunization program and when you look at the wound how do you assess it? What's the first thing you're doing there? The location of the wound uh, and the depth of the wound are probably the two most vital things. And then as time goes by, degree of swelling, lameness and, and so on. Um, for example, if it was bleeding heavily, um, horses can lose a lot of blood if you cut through a major blood vessel, an artery or so on. They have a lot of blood to lose, but it, sometimes that's vital and how you act immediately is so important. Just applying some padding and a, and a pressure bandage. I mean, if it's just a graze, for example, and, and a bit of swelling, then, then cold hosing would be effective. However, if it's all gone all the way through the skin and is grossly contaminated, we may need to clean it up uh, before bandaging it and during that process decide whether to call the vet or not. What would be the sort of key factors that would help you make that decision whether to call the vet or not? You know, if it's a deep wound or even a small puncture wound near a joint, call the vet straight away. One thing you can do is to have a well-stocked first aid kit equipped with gels that can be used to put on the wound and keep out infection. What are the key things that every owner should have well, readily available. So. so as we said, say it was a graze and not too deep, cold hosing for up to five to ten minutes would be adequate. If it was punctured, then, then cleaning it with, um, say, some antiseptic solution, a bit of antiseptic solution, dilute and some cotton wool, and washing the contamination, the dirt and the mud from around the edge of the wound would be good. If it's a little bit deeper, then flushing into the wound using sterile saline, um, excellent for, for flushing out wounds. This is just a contact lens aerosol saline from, from, from the supermarket, for example, and that can be used to flush out the dirt from inside the wound without compromising the, the, the cells inside. And then, if you fill the wound with a hydrogel, of which there's various ones on the market, the gel suck dirt away from the healing cells into the gel, and then when you next clean the wound, you can wash it away. And then bandage over the top. Given, though, that horses do injure themselves quite often. How do you stop having expensive vet bills landing on your doorstep? Insuring your horse is a very good way of budgeting. If you've got an insurance policy, you know what you're paying. Don't forget about the excess, which you would also have to pay. But a wound's one where 
it's an obvious injury, it's not pre-existing, the insurance are very likely to pay up and they will pay up to normally a maximum of up to £5,000 on a wound and that will cover even surgery and, and so on. So being insured, budgeting is the way forward. When managing a wound, remember, assess the wound. If you're concerned, make sure you call your vet. Be aware that small wounds can be life-threatening. Make sure your horse has had an anti-tetanus injection. Be prepared. Have a well-stocked first aid kit. Due to the design of equine animals, owners need to be prepared for the eventuality that their horse might well get injured. During the normal course of the day, they can hurt themselves on barbed wire, fencing, nails, glass or metal. Horses and ponies run into things, step on things and can get stuck. Knowing when to call the vet and what to do with the wound whilst waiting for the vet could be crucial to the future welfare of your horse.